Storm Shield weather, certified most accurate. And good afternoon, everyone. Wet pattern, dry, hot pattern, back to a wet pattern, back to a dry, hot pattern. Here we go, and it looks like this is going to last throughout the week. The humidity comfort index today sat here in the muggy range and again tomorrow it doesn't budge. It might just sneak into the oppressive level for a short period of time for parts of green country tomorrow. So in other words, drink plenty of water and please take it easy. Big splash water slide here and what a night to be there and a day to be there tomorrow. Breezy humid this evening through 9 p.m. 84 degrees warm and breezy middle part of the night still 77. We're looking at a morning low around 73 to 75 tomorrow with a south wind at 15 miles an hour. Very warm at noon tomorrow, already up to 88, and we should be around 93 to 94 tomorrow afternoon with a feels like temperature close to 100 degrees. Right now it is a searing 93 degrees outside. The relative humidity 50% is the dew point sits at 72. We have a south southwest wind at 14 miles an hour. The barometric pressure considered low at 29.90. Collinsville and Owasso 92 degrees. So Pulpa at 92. Look at Bixby. 95. That's the warmest spot, at least in the metro area. We'll widen things out. One of the warmer temperatures across the state right now. 88 at McAllister, 91 at Venita, 91 also at Coffeyville. All right, future track heat index starting tomorrow morning at 6 a.m. Feels like it's about 79 at that time. And then as we head through the afternoon, it will feel like it's close to 100 degrees again tomorrow. So that's why we say to take it easy. And also remember your pets. Never leave a pet in a car on a hot day even if you have the windows cracked open a little bit. Never or try to avoid some hot surfaces such as asphalt or sand that can burn the bottom of their paws. Make sure that you skip the hard exercise tomorrow and that they have plenty of cool water and fresh water on top of that. Right, the dome of heat is going to sit with us for the better part of the week. It'll shift to the east by Wednesday. It's almost right overhead. So Wednesday or Tuesday could be the hottest day. And then a cold front will come through as we go into a northwesterly flow. And so showers and thunderstorms are possible Friday, maybe again by Monday of next week. So we might get into a little more of an unsettled weather pattern. But look at that heat trying to hold on and build back in here as we try to head toward the 4th of July. Today's high 93 after a morning low of 76, 89 and 70 or the averages. The record high 106 set back in 1936 in the Dust Bowl days. 90 clear, windy and hot this evening. Overnight tonight dropping down into the middle 70s. Breezy, muggy and warm. Overnight lows in Paul uh, Huska around 74 degrees tonight. Benita 77, maybe a little cooler, closer to I-40, 72 at Shakota, 71 at Okima, and then south of Interstate 40 in the mid-70s, 73 at Stigler and 72 at Holdenville. Tomorrow, the UV index will be very high at 8, so make sure you have sunscreen. Pollen counts are still moderate. The air quality, though, right now should be good tomorrow. 94 degrees, no ozone alert is in effect for tomorrow. Bartlesville 94 tomorrow, Sky took 95 and prior around 94 degrees. Muskogee, your high of 94 with bright sunny skies, and we should see a high in you follow up 95 in Holdenville, 94 in Poto, around 97 degrees. Here's the seven day forecast Wednesday morning, 75, 95 Wednesday afternoon. Could be an isolated thunderstorm way to the south Wednesday afternoon. Otherwise, we're dry. 95 on Thursday. Then the cold front shows up Friday right now. A 60% chance for showers and thunderstorms mainly Friday night. And then look how much cooler Saturday. Northeast winds highs in the low to middle 80s. A refreshing air mass moving in to start the weekend. Brian, looks like a great weekend coming up after some heat this week. That's right. That cool down looks nice. Okay, thanks, Brett.